Hey girls, guess what we're gonna be learning about today? Plate tectonics. Snooze fest. No, absolutely not. Plate tectonics are awesome. In fact, they're so important, we basically wouldn't be able to live anywhere in the world without them. In fact, they're so cool, I even got some plate tectonic jokes. No, Gus, don't. Oh yeah, here we go. You know, honestly though, I've never really trusted plate tectonics. They're a bit too shifty. <laughs> For real, Gus? <laughs> Don't quit your day job. What? <laughs> plate tectonics are... You know what? We're learning about plate tectonics. Let's go. Tectonic plates cover our entire planet and are like a shell that lies underneath the top layer of the ground called the crust. These tectonic plates rest on top of hot inner layers of the Earth and slowly shift around on this melted layer. Earth's outer layer is made up of these large moving tectonic plates and all of Earth's land and water rest on these tectonic plates. The lithosphere moves these tectonic plates and some of these plates are huge and cover entire continents. The lithosphere is made up of the crust and a part of the upper mantle on Earth. Tectonic plates are made out of solid rock, but beneath the plates is a soft layer of partially melted rock. And these tectonic plates are continually moving on top of this weaker layer. Tectonic plates have shifted across Earth's surface for many millions of years. And as these tectonic plates shift, the continents on them move too. This shift takes place over millions of years and it's called continental drift. Hey, guess what? The Earth only moves about 15 centimeters a year and scientists believe it takes about half a billion years for each of the continents to join into one enormous continent or supercontinent, and then they begin to separate and break apart again. A number of these supercontinents have formed and broken apart on Earth over millions of years. The most recent supercontinent, called Pangaea, formed almost 300 million years ago. Gradually, Pangaea broke apart, and each of the continents we know today were formed. Deep beneath our planet, heat rises slowly from the core through the mantle to the Earth's surface. The mantle moves and rises beneath the Earth's crust before flowing sideways, cooling down, and then it sinks again. It's kind of like watching water simmering on a stove. The steam inside the pot rises, and if you keep the lid on the pot, you may see that the steam and water may actually boil over the side of the pot. But if you turn down the heat, the water and steam drops and sinks too. There are three main types of boundaries. Convergent boundaries are boundaries where two tectonic plates push together. Sometimes a tectonic plate will pass under another, creating mountains. This is called subduction. Although the movement is very slow, convergent boundaries can create more than just mountains and even volcanoes and they can also be areas of high earthquake activity and even volcanoes. Next are divergent boundaries. A divergent boundary is one where two tectonic plates push apart, creating cracks or valleys in the Earth's surface. This area is called a rift, and large lakes can form in these rifts. Then, new land is made by magma shifting up from the mantle and cooling down 
as it reaches the Earth's surface. Last, we have transform boundaries. A transform boundary is one where two tectonic plates slide past each other. And these areas are usually called faults and are areas where earthquakes and even volcanoes frequently happen. When a massive tectonic plate forces itself under a light tectonic plate, the smaller one rises up and becomes a volcano. There are- Wait, 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 I got a joke. Oh no, guys, not again. <laughs> Ready for it? What did one tectonic plate say to the other when they bumped into each other? What? Sorry, my fault. <sighs> there are two main types of tectonic plates, oceanic and continental. Yep, did I mess you up? Yes. My fault. <laughs> Those are some pretty bad jokes, Gus. Anyway, oceanic plates are made up of an oceanic crust called SEMA. SEMA is made up mostly of silicone and magnesium. Continental plates are made up of a continental crust called SEAL. SEAL is made up of silicone and aluminum. Hey, guess what? Juan de Fuca plate is the tiniest of Earth's tectonic plates. The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of the ocean. It was made by a convergent boundary between the Pacific Plate and the Mariana Plate. Even though these tectonic plates are all over our planet, there is a certain area where more trouble happens than others. And this region is called the Ring of Fire because there are so many earthquakes and volcanoes at the ends of the Pacific Tectonic Plate where this area is located. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know more about tectonic plates. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps out our channel. Yep. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.